Okay, here's how to draw scales. I'm drawing a couple little grids here. The one on the left is the, is the good one. The one on the right is not so good. As you can see, the one on the right kind of gives you more of a flat scale. You draw them kind of uh, rounded like this, you know, you get these rounded grid system and, and you, can, uh, you can curve your scales around that grid system. Then what you can do is you can sort of erase up the middle of something maybe and, and create some spikes sticking out and make everything cohesively connect into the scales. And, um, each individual scale and what that does is it, it just makes it flow a little bit better um, this might be the spine of the dragon or you know, the spine of a monster or something like that or the spine of a fish or something you know, sticking out the sides like that if you want to gives it a bit more texture now, here's where we get a bit more complicated. If we're going around a corner, we've got to, um, you know, we'll draw on the belly scales here. And you want the scales to curve around, so you want to draw them from the top towards the, be uh, from the spine towards the belly. This way, this way it, um, it'll just connect a lot better, it'll flow a lot better, and you don't get into any you don't paint yourself into any corners that way. And uh, here I'm kind of uh, going up the middle of the belly scales. So let's try a few more examples of scales. Starting again with a few grid systems. What we can do is um, we can explore a few more different styles of uh, traditional scales anyway. Um, these scales I'm doing, they're, they've got a little space in between. We see these with koi fish scales quite a bit, um, especially if you're doing larger scales. But, you know, I'm just kind of showing an example of leaving a little gap between each scale. I mean, you can really break it down to a more advanced uh, grid system if you want to make absolutely perfect scales, but I personally try to have my scales looking a bit more organic. Um, here I'm doing triangular scales that you might see on a snake or something like that. Um, you can create lines up the middle of them to create sort of two sides of each scale. You can shade one side of the scale if you want to. So that's kind of, yeah, that's a little bit. You can give the edges or where the, where the edge of the body bit of overlap like feathers or something and these scales you see them on dragons sometimes they're more like rows of scales you've seen them on drawings on Japanese woodblock prints as well on snakes and things like that but uh, it's just another way of doing scales and I'm gonna draw a slightly bigger one here let's make this grid a little more um, dissected so we'll make kind of slightly bigger looking scales, maybe like something you'd have on a koi fish, for example. I'm trying to wrap them around a little bit. You'll notice I'm not perfectly following the grid, but it gives you a loose guide that just gives you a bit more dimension when you draw them in. Now I'm making the scales kind of in the middle a bit darker, a bit wider. Here I'm outlining them so you can sort of see as you go around to the sides you make them a little smaller and now this is a whole other type of scale if you take that all away you've got all this, these little nacho shapes or something i like to call them nacho shapes um, that gives you a whole other type of a texture if you want it's something totally unique um yeah little nacho scales so now i'm gonna return to these grids you know Connecting a bit of a spine pattern to these smaller scales. Um, let's do another spine here, and we'll, we'll do some scales that are a little more uneven, a little more haphazard, just to show you don't have to make them perfect. You can make them a little more organic looking if you want. You can do small, big, medium, and it actually kind of looks cool, you know. Um, 
or you can, uh, let's say we've got some belly scales, like, uh, we'll, draw the, we'll draw the scales going into the belly, and here's another trick, if you have a hard time connecting them, you can make a bunch of little tiny scales that go onto the belly like that, and you hear some different body shapes, cross sections, you know, you, you can have like a, a concave body or, or these, you know, it doesn't have to be shaped like a round hose. You can make these, um, you know, triangle shapes or, uh, you know, oblong shapes and things like that. And, and you can follow the scale patterns around just to give you a different looking shape and different, uh, maybe it gives you a bit of edge. You can, you, you can maybe shade it that way. You know, you can shade the, um, just gives you, like here I'm, I'm breaking up the scales and putting something in between to show different sections. Or maybe you just want to throw shading or something like that, you know, or here I'm kind of making them curve around and then you know, put some flatter scales on the top and then put my spikes in there. And then the belly scales can go underneath. And now I've got, uh, you know, four different planes just on one, on one body. Here I'm kind of making the scale skinnier at the top and they go a little wider once again our viewpoint. Um, let's draw another complicated uh, body. So this is curving in a, in a circle. You see that often with snakes and dragon bodies, right? Um, so again, I'm starting with a bit of a grid system just to, just to get an idea of volume. And here I'm drawing the belly scales where I want those to go, and I'm just kind of making a bit more shape. And there's the spine where I want the spine to go. So I'll start with that as my starting point, and then you know I can make the uh, belly scales, and then uh, draw the, the, the sides of the body, and we'll make some scales uh, connecting in between everything. And uh, again, you know from the spine towards the belly just to get a better um, just to get a better a better flow a better shape that way they recoil more like a slinky or a spring or something like that and uh, then we can um, the way I'm going to shade this I'm going to do some darker shading on the spine around the spine area and I'll make the scales lighter as I go around towards the belly just to create volume and what that'll do is it'll it'll create sort of a light source it'll just make the eye think that more that the um, the body of the dragon is more rounded or something like that you know here I'm making the lighter scales as they go to the sides and um, yeah you can already see that's creating a bit of uh, a bit of a, a rounded illusion and you can further emphasize that by putting maybe a, a shadow up the side of the body on one side and on the other side and uh, maybe deepening that shadow and, and now suddenly it looks more like a cylinder a rounded shape you can do a little shading on the belly scales if you want as well to give a similar result anyway guys i hope that was useful to some of you um you know, these are just quick sketches, but uh, I just wanted to share some things that I had learned about how to uh, make scales a little easier. Um, comment below, like, subscribe, let me know what you want me to, to draw next, and I can uh, definitely make a video about that. Thanks, guys. Bye.